Hey, welcome back to the shop here at Trick Tools. Uh, we're here with Victor from Ice Engine Works and he's gonna give us the breakdown on the cutting jig system he's got that works in uh, cooperation with the modeling blocks for building headers, exhausts, and uh, turbo manifolds. So, uh, Victor, you wanna give us an explanation on how this all works? So, thank you. Uh, so, yeah, the system uh, for, uh, our system for developing headers includes the, uh, what we call stage two, which is cutting. It's the same concept, it's just different parts depending on the series you're working on. So we have three different kinds. We have the EH to be worked with the EH series. We have the um, nominal pipe, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, the FE series for the full exhaust. And then also we have the blocks for the um, nominal pipe uh, uh, elbows. So we're gonna review how each one works. Essentially, we start off with a plate. The plate is the same for all of them. What we have is, uh, what we call this, this uh, pivoting studs that are specific for each one of the applications. This one is for the H series, and these are the, these are, for example, the array of uh, the selection for uh, spacers for uh, what is it, one three quarters? Inch and three quarters. Inch yeah. and three quarters. So we have a two inch centerline radius. We have a three inch, a four inch, and essentially, the way it works is just simply our machine, the plastic spacers made out of a uh, high density polyethylene. They're designed to uh, absorb vibration and allow the, uh, the proper fitting of, of a U-bend when we're ready to, to cut, you know. Uh, we add uh, a little conical washer that acts as a, a spring uh, to locate and lock in in position. And then a wing nut that will allow us to, once we make the adjustment of what the angle we need to cut, it will allow us to bring the blade through here. The adjustment is very simple. Again, no numbers. It's essentially recreating the plastic part that we have in any given model, depend based on on our control sheet and number of blocks, and then just bringing it to where our blade can touch, and that's that would be our adjustment. If we need to make a different one, let's say we need to cut three inches, we go through the same thing. We make sure there's no gaps on the side. It was well supported. It's laying flat, and then we just turn it until we fit. You know, we touch the blade. That'll be our stopper. And then it's just simply a matter of replacing the U-bend and then making the cut. That will, rec you know, create the part. So this is the same method that we use for the every every other uh, series. Um, this not only works for U-bends that are full or complete, but also for partials. And this is important because this allows us to maximize the use of our material. So let's just say that on any given project, you have an extra one of these that you can use on the next project. I can still take out at least three inches off of these. So let's just say one of my parts needs to be only two inches. I go back to do my adjustment, and then I use the actual bend. When we do this on, on partial U-bends, we def we recommend strongly using a clamp to avoid vibration or avoid uh, the tubing actually jumping on us. And uh, it's really a matter of uh, just locking it in place so that it gets a, a solid feel and that will again use uh, let us uh, take advantage of leftovers from previous designs um, once we have this um, again if we need to this is for the FE uh, EH series uh, if we need to switch to let's just say uh, full exhaust let's review the full exhaust uh, uh, FE series these, because the spacers are bigger, obviously because you're, we're using larger diameters, we're gonna require a different stud that is taller. This will be the one for the FE along with a longer bolt. Thank you. So the, uh, the process is just simply unscrewing uh, this stud from the back uh, and then replacing the new one uh, with a longer bolt. And the procedure is exactly the same. So again, it's a very quick uh, process to replace. This really allows uh, the user, obviously, to, especially, you know, if you're building not just the exhaust header or the turbo manifold, but also building uh, the downpipe on a turbo application or a cat pack or an H pipe with a single with a single plate. We're gonna use, let's try first the uh, the EH the FE. Okay. This is the one for the FE uh, series. Yeah. So we're gonna use a longer bolt. Just put a little. Yeah, uh, we recommend putting a, a, a little bit of lubricant. 
because as Bryson says, uh, stainless steel and aluminum don't, don't make a good cup. Okay, so replacing the stud is just very simple. Again, it's just setting up the new longer bolt and just getting it started. Hold again. Again, this conversion takes no time. Okay. So now we're ready with, uh, to be able to set up um, the FE uh, cutting spacer. So again, the procedure is exactly the same. You know, this is a two and a half inch uh, OD uh, tubing with our 2500 series. So let's just say we need to create this uh, shape. We're gonna pick the matching uh, cutting spacer, which is a three inch. And again, it'll fit just right in there the same way. And um, we take measurements the same way, again, putting the blade where we can touch it. Then we're going to use a larger uh, conical washer, same wind nut, lock it in, and then use our actual prevent tubing. One thing that uh, we always look after when you buy tubing, depending on the source, depending on the quality, sometimes this slack we want to avoid as much as possible. We definitely recommend to try to make it as solid as possible. This will reduce the vibration when you're cutting and potentially saving the life of a blade in case it bites and cannot keep running. So make it solid and then we can uh, we can proceed to the cut. So now let's show how to convert it to use it now for nominal pipe for the MP series. Um, MP series uh, elbows uh, used for uh, turbo manifolds. Uh, by the way, one question that we get most of the time, what happens if your blade actually cuts into the spacer as you can see, we've done it, nothing happens. We just get rid of the flash. You usually, you, you always end up cutting on the same spot because that's really what matches the block's location. So as long as you don't cut way into it, it should be fine. Sometimes we recommend using a little bit of sandpaper just to get rid of all this flash, but don't worry. What does become critical is cleaning the, um, the, the walls of the spacer from all the metal debris because eventually they can build up and, and, not, uh, and create uh, interference that is not so accurate with the, new, uh, with the fresh new, uh, new bend. So now we're going to uh, convert our plate to use it with the uh, NP series. Uh, for that we need a much smaller stud, the, sh the shorter uh, bolt, and the same plate. So our process is the same. Uh, we screw the stud all the way in until it bottoms out. It also need to be super tight. There you go, perfect. And now this one will take, uh, you know, the NP series uh, cutting spacers. This is the one for the short radius and the one for the long radius. This is for the 1500 uh, series. Now when cutting these, uh, because of the method where we rely on a, on a support, again, we recommend uh, when you need to make a cut, you just tack a little leg, uh, a short leg, so that you can have a proper support uh, as we have with the other ones. And it's the same process, clamping it and then marking the cut with the blocks and then proceeding with the cut. So that essentially uh, explains you know, the, uh, how our cutting system works. Uh, again, no degree, no lines, uh, nothing, uh, no numbers really. So it's, it's only a matter of you know replicating the partial sections we need to use. Yep. So, and so these are available for all of the uh, different modeling kits. Uh, they have all matching size spacers for all the different cutting blocks. So if you're interested in the Ice Engine Works modeling systems and the whole cutting jig system to go along with it, uh, these have all of the different cutting spacers to go along with the cutting plate uh, that match all of the different sizes of the, cutting, the uh, modeling systems. And uh, from there you can get to work. So if you're interested in any of these uh, systems, give us a call, visit our website at tricktools.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos on high performance tools for the fabricator.